at our facility. And today I'm going to show you the Smith machine. This is a really versatile machine that is plate loaded that mimics many barbell movements but with more stabilization and safety. To use this machine, you twist the barbell and you can slide it up or down depending on the move that you're doing. When you're done, you twist the barbell back to hit on one of the safety measures, as well as an adjustable stop that you can adjust to make sure that the end range of your motion, there is a safety measure in case you can't get back up out of that movement. So I'm going to show you three moves today. The first move I'm going to show you is a squat. So you want to make sure as you come up, twist the bar and stand up. You want to place the bar not up on the neck, but down on the muscles of the back. Chest is open. And for the squat, we're going to be working our quads, hamstrings, and our glutes. So the front, back of the legs, and the glutes. Your chest is open, feet shoulder width apart. You're going to go down, pressing through the heels. Come on up. Press the hip flexors forward, squeeze the glutes, and repeat. This barbell unloaded is 25 pounds, but we have plates from two and a half pounds up to 45 pounds that you can put on either side without the collars because it's on a track that you can choose your weight. The second move also works the muscles of the legs. It's a lunge. The bar placement is the same. You're going to take a wide stance. Chest is up. Core is tight. Make sure that he stays behind the toe. Pressing through the heel. So notice how I'm standing facing this direction. You want to make sure you face this direction this machine because the angle of the machine will kind of mimic the body's angle as you do the movement. So I'm going to set up a flat bench to show you a bench press, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have the flat bench placed under the Smith machine, I'm going to show you a bench press which works the pectorals, the muscles of the chest. It also works the back of the arms, the triceps, and the anterior deltoids. So you want to make sure that the bench is far enough back where that when you lay down and your head's resting on the bench that that bar hits you mid chest. We're also going to look at the placement of the adjustment stops for safety measure. So squeeze on in there. Make sure that bar is straight above. You're going to place your hands so that when you're in that full range of motion your arms are at 90. Okay? You're going to tuck the shoulder blades back. Make sure your feet, hips, and shoulders are planted. Twist that bar and full range of motion. Squeeze the chest, making sure those elbows don't go past the shoulders. And extend those arms up without releasing those shoulders. Now, if you were at the bottom of the movement and couldn't press that weight up, the safety adjust stops will keep that bar from hitting your chest. So make sure you pay attention to these adjustable stops. Twist to place that bar up. Make sure to talk to your doctor before starting any exercise. Talk to a trainer about the sets and reps that are right for you and any questions about this machine or any other here at the rec center. Stay tuned for more exercise spotlights.